Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and have the top stories we are tracking for you on Wednesday, the 11th of October. India Global Powerhouse of Growth and Innovation says PM Modi on IMF forecast. Important to maintain Indian Ocean free and inclusive, says Jay Shankar at IORME. And another quake strikes Western Afghanistan, official says more homes destroyed. And now for all the details. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has termed India as a powerhouse of growth and innovation after the International Monetary Fund raised India's growth forecast to 6.3%, a second upward revision since April this year. The growth forecast was raised from 5.9% in April to 6.3% in the current report, which the IMF says can be attributed to stronger than expected consumption during April to June. India's central bank RBI in its monetary policy released last week had also retained India's growth forecast to be 6.5%, citing resilience exhibited by domestic economic activity in contrast to the global trends. And as Israel-Palestine war is raging on, Indian origin people in Israel are petrified after Hamas rockets struck their residents. The war has created a nightmare situation for the residents in the conflict zone. Indian diaspora has expressed confidence in the country's military and said they want to live peacefully. They also expressed gratitude to Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi for supporting them in this difficult period of time. Very thankful to Modi that he is supporting us, uh, Israel, and he is doing a lot of things for us, for Israel, and for our community in India our army that uh, they are uh, strong and they, uh, we, we are safe. As the war entered its fifth day, Israel Defense Forces have informed that over 4,500 rockets have been fired so far from Gaza. Over 770 Palestinians have also been killed in the air raids as part of the ongoing counter-offensive. Israel PM Benjamin Netanyahu has given a stern warning to Hamas wanting to finish the war. Meanwhile, family members of the deceased Nepali students killed in Israel-Hamas war are mourning their death and awaiting the repatriation of their bodies at the earliest. Prakash Shah, who lost his 25-year-old cousin Ananda Shah, said he got to know about his death after a few frantic calls with his friends in Israel. Ananda only had gone to the country in September for studies. The Nepal government has announced it will send its flight carrier to evacuate Nepali citizens from Israel, but the repatriation of bodies might take a few days. Yeah. एक डेढ़ घंटा पची माला भानी कि मुकसरी भानु मने रहन मिल भानी कि भानो ना क्यों हुआ तेज पची भानु हुआ कि आनंद हम बीच रहनु वैसे ना मने रहा पाल सरकार संग अनुरोध करना चाहूँ क्योंकि छिटो भांडा छिटो लास नेपाल लाइट ना मने रहा अराउंड 300 नेपलीज लेट कैंडल्स नेर द प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स ऑफिस ऑन ट्यूस Officials say about 4,500 Nepalese work in Israel and about 300 are studying there under the Learn and Earn program. India assumed the position of Vice Chair of the Indian Ocean Rim Association on Wednesday as the bloc held its 23rd meeting of the Council of Ministers in Sri Lanka's Colombo. In his opening remarks, Indian Foreign Minister Dr. S. Jay Shankar highlighted India's priorities and said New Delhi wants to develop an Indian Ocean community that is stable and prosperous, strong and resilient and is able to cooperate and respond to happenings beyond the ocean. He added as the vice chair of the grouping, India will work with the member states to strengthen the institutional framework to realize the true potential of the bloc. He said it is important to maintain the Indian Ocean as a free, open and inclusive space, a will reference at China's growing dominance over smaller countries in the region. As the Vice Chair, 
and a member of the Troika, India's priorities are clear. It is our effort to develop an Indian Ocean community that is stable and prosperous, strong and resilient, and which is able to cooperate closely within and to respond to happenings beyond the ocean. It is thus important to maintain the Indian Ocean as a free, open, and inclusive uh, space based on the UN Convention of the Law of Seas, UNCLOS, as the constitution of the seas. A massive protest was held recently by university students in Gilgit, Baltistan against a substantial hike in their fees. A report. Hundreds of students of the Karakoram International University in Gilgit, Baltistan held a massive protest recently against fee hike and administrative mismanagement. The protesters said the university administration had messed up its resources and is now burdening poor students by increasing the fee while they are not provided any facilities. They also raised concern that several students have been expelled as well for protesting over the issue. मैं जब पहली दफा मैंने यहां पे एडमिशन लिया था तो हमारी फीस 19000 थी और उसके बाद 22000 हो गई अब 30000 हो गई है और मुझे नहीं पता क्या था ये हर हर सेमेस्टर में फीसेस क्यों बढ़ा रहे और तौलबा को मतलब बोलने का हक क्यों नहीं दिया जा रहा University director Mir Tazim lamented the fees hike has been done due to recurring deficit and that there has been no aid from the Pakistani authorities के बावजूद अब भी हमारा कोई 300 मिलियन का फिर भी डेफिसिट है डेफिसिट अब हम परेशान हैं कैसे पूरा करें अच्छे अच्छे जो टीचर्स हैं उनके आप तनख्वाह नहीं दे देंगे उनको अच्छी तनख्वाह नहीं दे देंगे वो इधर हम नहीं रख सकते अभी हमारे बहुत सारे अच्छे टीचर्स यहां छोड़कर जा रहे हैं अच्छे a strong earthquake rattled Afghanistan's western province of Herat on Wednesday following a series of deadly quakes on Saturday. There were no details on casualties till the last reports came in, but some areas had suffered huge losses. Saturday's tremors killed more than 4,000 people and injured more than 2,000, making the quakes one of the deadliest in the world so far this year. فقط تونستیم همسرم از اینجا بیرون کشیدم زنده یک دختر کوچیک از اونجا کشیدم زنده بیرون یک دخترم اونجا فوت کرد یکم اونجا فوت کرد اونجا مدرسه همین تفلکای خود بوده کم کل گش رفته Relief and rescue efforts after Saturday's earthquakes have been hampered by infrastructure left crumbling by decades of war and a lack of foreign aid which once formed the backbone of the economy which has dried up since the Taliban took over. Hemmed in by mountains, Afghanistan has a history of strong earthquakes, many in the rugged Hindu Kush region bordering Pakistan. In an initiative aimed at women empowerment, authorities in India's Jammu and Kashmir have set up a millet hub cafeteria in Srinagar city, which is being managed solely by a team of women. Take a look. The Jammu and Kashmir Rural Livelihoods Mission has set up a millet hub cafeteria in the premises of the district administration office in Srinagar city, which is getting a great response. The cafeteria is being managed by women of self-help groups who are members of the National Rural Livelihood Mission. The aim is to provide employment to women and empower them. This place is owned by female staff only. Here are females and serving females. And it feels very good that our DC Sir has initiated to get them here and to do something for our office and ready to serve things here. And as you can see the decor also, the interiors are very good, everyone has been working on it and that too by female staff. The year 2023 has been declared as the International Year of Millets by the UN and the visiting delegates of India's G20 meetings in Kashmir were also served as special millet dishes from this cafe. The Millet Hub represents India's commitment to sustainable practices. सब भी कह रहे थे ये लड़कों का वाला काम है तो लड़कियां कैसे हैंडल कर सकती हैं लड़कियों को कहां आएगा ऐसा लेकिन हमने उनको ये गलत साबित करके दिखाया कि नहीं लड़कियां भी मतलब कर सकती हैं लड़कियों भी पोटेंशियल है लेकिन शुक्र अल्लाह इतनी बड़ी अपॉर्चुनिटी मिली कि अभी हम आज लड़कियां खुद इंडिपेंडेंट हैं अपने घर को चला रही हैं खुद को चला रही हैं और दूसरों के लिए इंस्पिरेशन भी बन रहे हैं दैट्स ऑल इन टुनाइट्स एडिशन वी विल सी यू सेम टाइम टुमारो गुड नाइट
Tech TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.